Hey everybody, James Yeager with Tactical Response. Thanks for watching. Well, uh, on with the gel test part two. We are examining the Gorilla Silverback 205, uh, 205 grain subsonic and the 125 supersonic. Without further ado, let's get right out to the range. All right, so uh, I've uh, broken out the, the CMT SBR uh, with the, the Midwest Sights aim point with the Midwest Mount, Midwest Rail, Surefire, Yankee Hill can. Uh, Don and I put this thing together, and uh, well, mostly Don, and uh, so we're gonna shoot it and use it to shoot the jail because it's probably the coolest looking 300 I got, <laughs> and I don't get to shoot it often. Uh, and uh, so we're gonna be shooting uh, two types of uh, Gorilla ammo today. We're gonna be shooting the, um, first we'll shoot the 205 grain self-defense round, um, solid copper, subsonic and 205 and then we're going to shoot the uh, 115 grain pig punisher round and uh, we'll shoot those uh, shoot those bad boys and and uh, see what the difference in those two is and if you remember in the past I've said that a 200 grain bullet going less than the speed of sound sounds a whole lot like a 45 ACP so we'll see how that kind of fares with this 205 grain round and then uh, then we'll shoot the pig punisher, see how that does. But, uh, you know, after we fire the first shot into the jail, it's not really scientific anymore. It's just for fun at that point. But we can still kind of make some, um, some suppositions based on what we see. So let's get to shooting. So we see, uh, you know, when we do the pistol, you know, we see the pistol, the the, temp, the permanent wound channel opening up, right, right, right when it hits the gelatin. But with these uh, with these rifle rounds, they control the expansion somewhat, and uh, looks like this thing is 14 and change, maybe 15, but certainly 14 and a half uh, penetration. Which for self defense, that's plenty. Now, people want to know what the what the right number is. Who knows? But uh, but 14 is a good good number for, for a self-defense round. Good number. And that, that round opened up nice and pretty. And uh, let's, uh, let's shoot that pig punisher and see what it looks like. All right, so I got it loaded up. I'm, 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 I've, n I've never shot one of these pig punisher rounds, but you notice to put my ear pro on because it's probably not going to be hearing safe. And I'm going to aim a little higher than that one. <laughs> well, it's gone. <laughs> Holy moly. That thing is the thing is all over the place. It is in it is in many pieces. Many pieces. Many pieces. So if we look at the uh, temporary temporary wound channel is more violent for sure, way more violent. Uh, with that with that round of course because it's supersonic of course it's going to be more violent but man when that thing comes apart it comes apart wow that that's it that's impressive it just it just did a, a disappearing act that's pretty crazy so i'm going to shoot it some more since i already got it we've already ruined it so how about how about uh I'll do two and two of the of the slow ones and the fast ones, the two oh fives and the one fifteens. We'll see what that looks like. So as I do this, the two sup, uh, subsonics will come out first, then the two supersonics. So it'll sound like boop boop pop pop. Um, and so pay attention. Um, Three hundred. It's a ten ten and a half inch barrel. Thinks what's on here, but the can and notice the difference. It goes from hearing safe to not hearing safe. Blink of an eye.
I broke another goddamn ruler. <laughs> I'm not sure anything came out. I think it was so violent that it swelled and snapped and broke broke it. I don't think anything I don't I don't think anything came out. Yeah, I think it just swelled it up, snapped and snapped and broke the damn thing. Pretty crazy. We got something going all the way to the end here. And then uh, we got this this uh this uh, 205 on the other side. It must have fell into another, uh, might wanna go to the other side there and get that. We got this 205 that made it in pretty far because I think it hit an existing wound channel and sucked off some, of the, used up some of that energy to get in there. But, uh, but uh, again, no science behind that, but just a little bit of fun. Can I not have a damn measuring device? <laughs> and so, uh, so we look at those, we get that, that, uh, that 45 ACP like, 205 grain bullet slow heavy you know pushing through uh 14 15 inches of penetration the great self-defense round great self-defense round great self-defense round if you're of the light fast uh, uh world of people uh that you know got the slow heavy people the light fast people the light fast at 125 pig punisher would also punish some criminals uh, so you saw with that in my previous videos where I talk about high velocity, high velocity projectile fragmentation and deformation, you see that, ooh, that, 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 you know, in, with the, with the best slow motion that we can produce, you see that, uh, you see that temporary wound channel, oh, you see the permanent wound channel, man, that thing is just like ex literally explosive as it hits that media and now uh, it's a it's a fantastic uh just you know so you you could not go wrong with either one of those for self-defense now hunting hunting probably gonna go with the 125s period probably gonna go with um, not that that 205 wouldn't kill say a pig or something like that but uh for for like hunting i'm probably going to get the fast one because i want to take long shots and stuff like that the 205 it's going to fly like a handgun round it's probably going to drop you know a foot at 100 yards something like that so uh but you but 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 now we are beginning to assemble this this database of information again unscientific as it may be it is something and uh so we will continue this project I'll uh, shoot some other stuff. I'm going to do stuff like I'm going to shoot some match grade ammo. I'm going to shoot. I'm going to shoot the 416 Rigby. I'm going to shoot some some uh, 10 millimeter, some crazy 10 millimeter rounds. And you, we're going to we're going to just continue with this. If you'd like to help, Patreon slash James Jaeger. If you want to help the cause, uh, the the more people we got behind this, the more the more we can do, the faster we can get it done. Uh, but it's been fun to it's been uh everybody's been very positive and i thank you for that again it's unscientific but we are doing something rather than doing nothing and uh and thank you to gorilla ammo they have supplied these blocks of gelatin it's obvious i need to buy more blocks of gelatin they were nice enough to supply those blocks of gelatin that's why i started out with the gorilla ammo they're very kind i have purchased the the stuff to reconstitute the gel that that will probably be the next video to show you how what goes into getting this stuff ready to go again this is James Jacob for Tap Response, reminding you that your responsibility to be ready for the fight never ends.